Okay, hello again everybody and welcome back to the TuneLink online tutorials. Uh, this is the second week and this week we have for you a tune from Galicia and this is a Jota. Uh, we'll play it through for you a couple of times now so you can get a sense of what it sounds like. Okay, so as I said, this tune is from Galicia, and that's in the northwest of Spain. Um, it came from this book, which is a set of recordings of Manuel López López, who was a, a gaitero, or a bagpipe player. The gaita are the traditional bagpipes of Galicia. Um, because of the pitch of the pipes, of those pipes, uh, the tune was originally in C, but we've transposed it to G, uh, just to fit things like whistles and the type of pipes we get here a little bit better. So this tune is in 3-4 time and it starts on the second beat of the bar. So I'm just going to demonstrate with Louis. One, two, three, one. It's got two parts and each part repeats. Each part has a phrase with a different ending on it. You'll soon get the hang of it. So the first one starts on a high G with a little run down ending on B. One, two. Then we do the same thing again, but this time we go all the way down to G. One, two. And that's all that happens in the first part. That just gets repeated. Second part is the same. Uh, this time it starts on the third beat of the bar, on a G, a one, two, like that, okay? So the first phrase goes like this, one, two. Ending on a B. Second phrase. predictably it goes back down to G. So we're going to join those phrases together with one little linking note, a D. And that repeats. So that's it for the actual structure of the song. Okay, so I just thought I'd say a little something about accompaniment for this tune. Uh, it's a relatively straightforward tune, so we're going to do some quite straightforward chords for it. Uh, we're just going to use our 1, 4 and 5 chords in the key of G. So to start with, we're going to go G, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, then C, D, G, like that. And that's for the first part, that'll cover the whole thing. So, can we try it quickly? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 1. <laughs> For the second part, um, we're also going to use three chords. Mostly we're just going to use G and D. And we might use an E minor towards the end as well. So we're, for this, we're going to go. One, two, three,
Okay, so we're going to finish off this week's tutorial by playing the tune at a steady pace for practice. One, two, three, one. <laughs> 